Welcome. Today waits a little DIY project on this channel. But let me have some delicious coffee first. Mmm, tasty. As I want to make earrings, I've purchased some sterling silver hangers. These need some clips so you don't risk losing them. And I've ordered some silver rings. Some paint shops use these aluminium plates to measure the thickness of the applied paint job. If you ask nicely, you might get some for free with nice looking colors on them. They measure a 30 mm in diameter and I can use a forcenet drill bit of that size to use it as an insert in wood. And talking about wood, I prepared the slice already and sanded it with this handy sanding pad. You can find a link down below. I'm going to use some thermally treated or baked ash. I like the look of it and it is ideal as it is very moisture resistant after being treated this way. So let me clean my bench a bit and draw some ideas on this piece. As the next step is sawing, I prepared this little table for my coping saw. Crimson, <coughs> Crimson guitars inspired me to do so. I'm not sure if you want to see all of it. You can comment down below if you need to watch me sawing pieces out. Having two pieces cut out, I can now equalize them. I simply stack and clamp them and use a file and some sandpaper for this. Now we can drill the holes for the hanger and some additional ones to make it pretty. And after having my camera die on me, I shaped the earrings a bit further and round all the corners over. I want them to look sleek and not too bold. After sanding them further, I think it is time for some orange gloves and Danish oil. How do you like them so far? Now let them cure and move over to the next pair. My idea with these painted plates was to use them as inserts, but I don't like this idea anymore. They seem to be too big and bulky, even though I still think it would look rather pretty. My other idea was to cut thin parallelograms out. And that's where I moved to some hand saw action. After the first cut, I copied the angle with my sliding bevel. The first piece then was used to mark out the second one. And yes, I'm currently out of coffee, but if you want to, you can buy me a new one with the link down below in the description. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah, there isn't really much to say about drilling the holes for the hangers, but this time I drill additional pocket holes to put some nice mother-of-pearl dots inside. 
As I've built a few guitars in my life, I have always some laying around. Hmm, maybe I can film some guitar building action soon if you like. And yeah, I love me some super glue. After a few minutes, the pieces look like this. And I always hope the camera focuses faster. Uh, now I just sand the pieces flush. And with a quick glance at the rings, I decide to slim the top down so they will fit better. And you, you might already notice, the whole project is made up on the go. And I just had the idea to make some wooden earrings. I call them finished now and I spare you the view of me putting some Danish oil on them. Time for a final assembly. I got ahead a little and assembled these ones. I thought two opposing plays would give a good look on these closed loop hangers and they swing rather nicely. For that I drilled a small hole, holding the plates with my fire cloak. You can discuss in the comments if you want to call it a hand vise or a pin vise or whatever. And yeah, I drilled through five plates, so it won't matter if I scratch the top one. To assemble the hangers, you simply twist the rings open. This is one of those cases you use two of the same tools simultaneously. Afterwards, you close the ring again. For the bigger earrings, I chose to use two sets of rings for the hanger. This is simply a matter of taste. Do as you please. I mean, these are your earrings. That's pretty much it. How do you like them? That wraps it up for today, and thanks for the coffee.